All right. So the question of the day is, are trans women women? Yeah. I don't know. Do you think trans women are women? I need to know based off of your sweater. <laughs> oh, no. Why, why are you scared? The debate answer? starts. I'm not. I want to know how you feel about your question first. I'll tell you after, after you tell me the answer. I don't think that you're really serious about it. Well, I don't want to be a part of that. My opinion? Uh, Let's keep it real. It's, it's, are trans women women? Are trans women women? I think trans women are women in their own eyes. Mm -hmm. In society, no. Mm. Not as how society sees them, no. So, <laughs> I don't know how to answer this. So, uh, I, me personally, I grew up kind of more old school, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're a man, you're a man. If you're a woman, you're a woman. But um, you, uh, if they have a vagina, sure. If you're a woman. <laughs> if, you, if you have a vagina and you're like completely trans, sure, yeah. But and so men can have vaginas. Can men have vaginas? No. That's why I said if a man is a man, and a woman is a woman. But if they, if they, if they, like the surgery, like yeah, there's but no if, surgery. I know they give a man a vagina. So. There is a surgery. There is a surgery. Yeah, there is. You inverted. Of, 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 of vagina where you can produce children. Not where produce, you produce children. children. I'm not sure. No. It's not no. You can kind of identify as what you want, I guess, but I kind of go by biological. So if you have a penis, you're a man. If you have a vagina, you're a woman. You can dress whatever you want. You can be lesbian. You can be gay. That's fine. But if you don't have a vagina, you are not. I think you can identify as whatever you please. Mm -hmm. If you think you're a dog, go ahead. Like, I know there are people who do that too. Like, but does to that each make you a dog own. though? In, no, in, but to each their own. Yeah. Everyone has their own mental, mental processes, right? Mm -hmm. Throughout their life. And if that's what they're choosing right now, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And to each their own. At the end of the day, like, why does it bother anybody else? So if you had a daughter, you go into a, a women's bathroom, a women's locker room, for example, and you see a male right. walking around with a penis who mm -hmm. identifies as a woman. How would that make you feel? I think if they're emotionally still interested in the other sex, though, I, why would it bother me? You go in bathrooms. You don't know what? people going on people's minds. Unless they do something to me that I can sense. So you, so you don't, you don't mind uh, uh, seeing a penis in the women's locker room? But that's so. Do they, happens, but do they identify? But do they identify as a woman? But re re regardless, as a, as a as a okay, they do. Heterosexual they do. woman, do they? What? How would you know? Because though? if they do, how would you know? How would you know? How, because what? I would assume that if you have a penis and you're walking into the women's restroom, it's for some fucking reason. But how would you know though? If you're just a regular Samaritan but if walking not into doing a anything locker room, to me, I really don't care. Because honestly, the lines in the female restrooms are really long. So the question of the day is, bro, what type of nonsense? Oh my gosh, dude! I didn't know people can really be this like mentally ill. If my if if you walk into a woman's bathroom. And you see a man in there with a with a dangling, just slanging away. The women's locker room, I'm sorry. Just slanging. Just slanging meat. Just, just like that. You telling me that you gonna think that man is in there for some reason? Some reason. And the reason you are not you're logically thinking of is that he identifies as a woman. That is why he's in here. Bro, I swear, I be losing brain cells watching this type of content, bro. Are trans women women? Oh, shit, that's a serious, deep question. It's not really serious just because you're scared because everybody got something to say about it. Oh, well, that actually is a good point. Yeah, but I, yeah. trans women are women? Sure. You think so? Yeah. Why do you Why do you, Why do do you? you think that they are? They want to be women? They want to be women. So does that mean that I can be anything that I want to be? Yeah. If I identified as a cat, would that make me a cat? Uh, that's a good point. Probably not. Your original stance really is that you think that women can, or men can be women? No, I just don't care. You don't? <laughs> well, you should have cared, though, bro. You should have cared, though, bro. Did you know that California just passed the, a bill that allows biological men to be housed in women's prisons? Uh, to the extent that they give men condoms before they even get housed. Oh, wow. Did not know that. But I'm saying, like, even if you didn't know that, that's like kind of the implications we go when you allow people to do whatever the hell they want, right? Yeah, yeah. They can do anything they want. Anything they want. That means I need some catnip and I can, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
So with, with all that being said, what does that mean? Do you think that trans women are women still? Ah, uh, you changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> the question of the day is, are trans women women? Yes. Yes? Yes. Why are they women? Because they want to be. So does, does that mean that anyone can be whatever they want to be? Yes. So if I wanted to be a cat, could I be a cat? I mean, not species wise, but like, sure, do what you want to do. It's not my business. But does it being your business have to do with the reality of it? I mean, kind of. Like, I think that people can do whatever they want to be. People can be whatever they want to be. But does that does that make it true though? I think in the terms of being trans, yes, it does. If trans women are women, then what is a woman? I think a woman is someone who feels like a woman. What does a woman feel like? Well, I don't think you would know. <laughs> but, could, but could you provide a description on what it is? To, because if any, if a trans woman can be a woman, I feel like there should be like a specific definition well, I know or that, description. I know that what? I feel like a woman. Because you, you are a woman. Yes, exactly. Yeah. You wouldn't know what it feels like to be a woman. But how would a trans woman know what it feels like to be a woman because they, a woman? Because they wouldn't feel like you. They would feel like me. You wouldn't be able what? to understand the difference. It's you can't understand the difference unless you like are. How would a trans? How would a biological man that identifies as a woman know that they are a woman? Because they would feel like a woman. But what does what does feel like a woman feel like? They would feel like they're in the wrong body. They wouldn't feel like they are. They wouldn't feel correct in who they are. But if they feel like they're in the wrong body, does that mean that they are a woman? If they feel like they would be better suited to a female body, then yes. If they feel like they're better suited in a female's body, does that mean that they are a woman? If they choose to become, like if they choose to present as a woman, or like they choose to act as a woman, dress as a woman, like whatever they want to do. I'll ask it once again, if, if that's the case, if mm -hmm. people can literally be whatever it is that they feel like, by if, and this is happening in the world right now. If, if people identify as a dog or a cat, oh, yeah, I know it's happening. Yeah, yes. I don't think it's a fair comparison Why because not? men and women are like it happens in the womb, like that you become either a man or a woman, mm -hmm. but you're the same species, you come from the same place, like you and a cat, completely different species, not the same thing. Okay, so if, if a man is born a man and, and they're not biologically a, a woman. What is it that they are experiencing that makes them know that they are a woman if they're not a woman? I wouldn't know. I'm not trans. I can't describe what being a woman feels like. Bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bro, what? Bro, why do they make this harder than what it is? Can a trans woman be a woman? Well, they can feel like a woman. If they feel like a woman, then yeah, they're a woman. Oh, yeah. This, 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 bro, it's a yes or a no, fam. People make it so hard than what it actually is. Can a trans woman be a woman? Oh, well, I mean, no, they cannot. Uh, well, first of all, it's not even a well, no, I mean. It's simply a no, they cannot. They, they are not physically a woman. They are not biologically a woman. So, no, they can never be a woman. You Like, they cannot. You, you you say oh well they feel like they came if they feel like they came in the wrong body this and that bro feelings change that's the problem with society they go off feelings everything is i feel 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 you is you're never going to get nowhere in life if you just go strictly based off feelings because feelings change one minute i can feel like doing this the next minute i don't feel like doing it feelings change i can feel like eating pizza right now but by in, in a few more hours i may feel like eating chicken feelings change so i may be right now feeling like i want to be a woman because I, I I'm I'm uh, I'm desired. I have a desire to want to dress like a woman, to act like a woman, to to want to date men. I, I, so I feel like I I should be a woman. But by the time I'm 30, that feeling may change. I may want to detransition myself back into a man. But now that process may be hard to do so because I don't went through all the process and changes to to make myself a woman. Feelings change, bro. You can never go based off a of feeling. If your kid feel like they want to be a woman, you better sit that little boy down. You better you better put the belt to the booty and let him know like, no, you are a man. Yo, you, you, I don't care what you feel. You are a man. 
and you're going to be a man and you're going to be exactly what God created you to be. You're not going to go out here thinking that you can just be this and be that and be that. That's not, no, that's not logic, bro. That's not logical at all, bro. That's, that's not common sense. That is stupidity, bro. What does a woman feel like to you? It feels like I feel like being a woman, I feel like that's correct. I feel like I was meant to be a woman. So to yeah. simply to simply not feeling like you're in the right body means that you're not a man or a woman? If you choose to let it, like obviously some people don't make a choice to do anything about it. Some people continue to live out their lives feeling like they're not in the no, right but body. My, my, my question is, my, that's my question. I feel like you're saying that simply because someone feels like they're not in the right body, that directly means that they are a woman. In the greater Inglewood community, almost 50% of the current housing stock is vacant. Only 24%. So why, why couldn't it be anything else? Like, why is it that since I don't feel like I'm in the right body, that means that I'm a woman? No, not that just because you don't feel like you're in the right body. It's you feel like you are meant to be in a female body. But how do they know what a female body is? I feel like most people know what a female body is. How does a man is? know what it is to be in a female body? They don't. A biological, how does a biological man know what it feels like to be in a woman's body? It's not all physical. I, if you look it up, there are studies done on the fact that people who are trans, like someone could be more born into a man's body, but have a female brain. What? There's studies that go against that as well. You know what I'm saying? That's true. But, but, but I guess I'm trying to get you to explain to me how a man can feel like they're a woman. Like what do, Tell me what a, what a woman feels like. What is it to be a woman? How, how does a woman feel? What is it? What is it that they are experiencing that allows them to know what it is to be a woman? Because it's such a spectrum of women. Mm -hmm. Well, I wouldn't be able to really tell you anything different because this is all I've ever known. I don't know the difference between a woman's brain and a man's brain because I don't know what it feels like to have a man's brain. If I did, I could tell you the difference. Why are you so certain on a man being a woman if you don't know what it is that men are going through to identify as a woman? Because if they feel like they better identify as a woman, then I don't think anyone should stop them. From so if I, if I if I if I if I say I better identify as being a white man, does that does that mean that I'm a white man now because I identify better as a white man? I think that's not a fair comparison. Why not? I'm a man, and I could be raised in a stereotypical white environment and not associate myself with stereotypical black things to do i could literally believe that i'm a white man you could yeah so does that make me a white man then? no why not because you're not white do you think that trans women are women i think you are what you say you are if you want to be really yeah why you feel that way because uh, not my life, why do I care? I think when it comes to like competitive sports and things like that, it gets a little more uh, and then they claim to have like the same struggles as women. It's mm -hmm. a little more uh, um, but I don't give a fuck what you do in your personal life. But it, should how you care about it be relevant as far as reality though? Like Elaborate on that. So, for example, California just passed the bill. What was that? And the bill allows biological men to be housed in women's prisons, regardless that of... That I don't agree with. But that's along the lines of what we're talking about, though, right? Yeah. Like, if you allow anybody to do what the hell they want to do, that that's what comes from I think from when it. it comes down to, so, like, like the where do, where do you draw the line? and physical abilities, like, you would like to, like... I would like to think that everybody has a pure heart and they're just doing that because they want to do that and that's how they feel in their soul then do it but unfortunately not a lot of people are like that so when it comes so, to integrating that into women's prison systems i think that's fucked up so where do you draw the line with your mentality though like if anybody can do what exactly they want exactly where i said it like when it comes to like competitive sports i think that well, how do you know where when people are genuine or not though so, well, so, so what that, happens if a man just wants to be a and man that, and go take up a woman's you, sports? You don't. And that's why I'm saying that's where I disagree. And I don't think that it should be allowed in, in women's prisons. But what about women's bathrooms? I, I think if somebody is minding their business and you can't even really tell, like, I don't give a fuck. But when it comes to predatory behavior, obviously step in. But do you do you understand the the, the dilemma we're in if that happens? So if you allow anybody to just go in a woman's bathroom, they feel like they're a woman. Yeah. There are predators out here, right? 
Yeah. So that allows a wide think, open gaping hole for men to take advantage of that I, to do what they want to do. I, 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 and there's parts where that's like a gray area for me like that, you know, I but think why is it, should but be why is it gray to, though? It's just a, for exactly the reason I said, there are people who are like genuine and like, they just feel better in women's garb and do you do that? Like, I don't, it's not me, I don't give a fuck. Um, but when it comes to people say like, oh, it don't matter to me. I don't care the, you don't have to care, but the fact that what's happening here, it is destroying society period. Okay. Men claiming to be women and if, if they're pushing on our kids they're pushing this agenda on kids they're pushing this agenda in the world now they got bathrooms where you can share with a man and they got locker rooms now where it's appropriate for a biological man who identifies as a woman to come into the locker rooms with a woman like at planet fitness in certain areas like you know what i'm saying it's like this right here is, is is destroying society because now we have men in the women areas where we you can literally be a mental think about it like this a mental dude a mental guy he, he's not all the way there mentally he says hey i want to identify myself as a woman but his intentions is i want to identify myself as a woman to hurt women to 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 to, to do things to women that i know i shouldn't do so now he can go into the, the, the men's, I mean, the women's bathroom. Let's say, let's say you have a daughter. She goes into the bathroom. This sick dude who identifies as a, a, a woman can literally go into these bathrooms and harm women and do things to women. But, but because he identifies as a woman, it's okay for him to step foot into these bathrooms. You see what I mean? It's like, bro, you say, oh, it's not my life. I don't care. It's not my life. But this can literally hinder the, the privacy of women. It can literally destroy women. You feel me? Because we have men who know nothing about what it feels like to be a woman. We have women who knows, and it's not even that many women that try to identify as a man, but you know what I'm saying? I feel like it's going to get to a point where we go have women who have no idea what it feels like to be a man who's going to try to be a man. You feel me? But most importantly, I feel like this, this, this whole, this whole idol, what? I'm trying to think of a word, but this whole thing that's going on with the, the trans women and trans, whatever you want to call them. It's men who think that they know what it feels like to be a woman who identifies as a woman, but can step place that can step foot into places with women, can step foot into places like sports, locker rooms, bathrooms, and it can literally destroy women. They can literally destroy women, bro. But you said, hey, I don't care about it. It's not my life. So why should I care? But it's going to destroy you. It's going to hinder you in the future. It's going to hinder you when you go to the bathroom and you see a whole man slinging nigga lane. Like it's going, it's it's going. You're gonna feel like like weirded out by that, bro. That's weird. To a predator is gonna predator, whether they're in women's garb or not, whether they're a man or a female. A woman can walk up in the women's restroom. But, 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 but women, where women have safe spaces where women expect to be safe. Yeah. Yeah. So if you allow men in there yeah. because they feel like they're women, then that gives chance for very terrible things to happen which have, which have happened i agree i agree okay i got another question for you. okay with 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 that yes if trans women are women what is a woman okay um a woman is a woman what do you mean by that elaborate on that question i need you to elaborate on it because if trans women are women if they can be women I then don't what think, is a woman see personally i think people should be able to do what they want to do but i don't agree that like trans women are women i think they're trans women to be allowed to be trans women but you're not a woman you're a trans woman and i am firm in that belief system yeah. you know because you don't once a month there's fucking little ninjas yeah. inside of me going ham and you will never experience that so i agree with what you're saying i think in the everyday life to life people should express themselves how they want to i'm not going to see a trans woman and say you're gross you know because yeah. that's not my place i'm not god yeah. and their relationship with him is their business so the question i've been asking everyone everybody everyone okay are trans women women wow okay um have they taken the junk and moved it to a different location Possibly. Or are they just like, you know? Wait, so, oh yeah, if, even if they, yeah, if, they, if they're post-op, if they had the procedure and cut it off, are they, are they women? 
uh, it's a tough, tough question to answer in a sense because they want to think they are, and who am I to say that they can't be what they want to be? You know. But does that make them a woman, though? Even if they think that they are. Well, but what classifies a, a woman as a woman? Exactly. So that's, that's a good question. Do you have to have those chromosomes to have a child? What about a woman who's born without the ability to give birth? Yeah. So, I don't know. So, what is a woman? For me, mm -hmm. it's not that. Yeah. yeah. But for 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 a, a common sensical person, what is a woman? Born female, grows up, develops into a woman. You know, could potentially have a child, unless obviously there's a, other complications. Complications that would prevent that. And you know. why was there hesitance to? Give the, well, because in today's today's society is so, you know, it's 20 years ago, people would say, fuck no, you know, but today you can't mm -hmm. because, you know, you can't offend everybody. And if you do, you know, you say this, you say that it's offensive to somebody. Mm -hmm. Everybody's going to get offended. Somebody got offended by what I just said. Yeah. So that's just the way it is, though. That's society today. People are soft. Yeah. You know, <laughs> that's the problem. For me, I live by the, the credo of, if you're not hurting people and you're not hurting any, you know, you, you're living, you, I don't care what you want to do. If that's what you want to call yourself, fine. Uh, do you agree that there's a push to make society believe that trans women are women? A push? An agenda? No. No? No. If that's the case, why do you feel that you would have been, I don't know, ostracized or, or, or focused on because of your stance on them? If trans women are women or not. Because of the way the change of society has become over the last decade or so. How, you know, just things are different from, you know, I'm, I'm older than you two. Mm -hmm. And come back then, you know, Archie Bunker, if you remember All in the Family, which mm -hmm. is probably, you know, he was racist and, you know, big, all those different things that. And it was okay. It was, it was normal part of society back mm -hmm. then. Now. It can't be. Everybody has to be accepted, regardless of how they want to be viewed as themselves. So, whatever you know, that's if it makes them happy. Fine, but that's not interesting to me. If it makes them happy, there's someone living in their, I don't know, their reality. Do you understand the implications that has on re real reality? If we have this stance on if trans women are women, are there consequences that can come from that? Potentially, I have a seven-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. and if I'm in a public restroom, and you know, not not that trans women are going to do anything, but it just would make me a little more on edge to be mm -hmm. careful. To be, I mean, I I keep an eye on my daughter, and here she comes. I keep an eye on her everywhere, yeah. no matter what, because we're in a society today where crazy shit could happen Absolutely. at any time. So, all of these things we're talking about is all different crazy shit. That's part of part of life. It's you know it is what it is. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna enjoy my life and stay happy. A man, men and women, obviously, they have different like um, stereotypes in society. Mm -hmm. But there's still a certain like you can still feel like you're not. How do you know that though? How do you know? I what don't I, know. I, but, but I'm saying if you don't I, know, then how are you so certain on what what it is they're going through? I don't know what they're going through. I just know. If you don't, if, but if you don't know, then how are you certain that a man could be a, a woman if you don't know what they're going through? I just think that, like, it's not my place to tell them that they're wrong. If they feel wrong in their body, I'm not going to say, like, I'm not going to restrict them from Let me ask you a feeling question. how they want. When you, do, you, do you ever plan on having children? No. No? Um, do you have sisters? Do you have loved ones that are women? Yes. Or are you yourself? If, if if you were in the bathroom and you saw uh, a naked man with his phallus swinging that identifies as a woman, how would that make you feel? Well, most people don't walk naked. But it's, 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 it's happened numerous times at this point where people are taking advantage of the fact that, or not even taking advantage of the fact that we have people that won't take any. Uh, you say most people don't walk naked. Boy, have you been to Planet Fitness? Oh my, I, I that's why I don't use the bathroom at Planet Fitness, bro. I don't, bro. I, I, I don't seen too many old men, bro. I'm traumatized. I don't seen old men just come out the shower, no towel, just, bro. I'm traumatized from Planet Fitness, gym, bro. Like the, 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 the locker room. I'm traumatized because the bathroom is in the locker room, and I'm traumatized. That's why I just use the bathroom before going. Or I wait until I get to the crib to use the bathroom because, bro, I cannot see it no more. I cannot. I cannot. Any hormones or just present themselves as a man 
testicles out, penis out in safe women areas that identify as a woman. How would that make you feel if you walked into a locker room and saw a man there totally nude and he said identify as a woman? Well, truly did identify but, as But you don't know that though. How would you know if you had truly identified as a woman? I, I don't know. I've never been in that experience. But how would that make you feel? I mean, I probably wouldn't care that much. You wouldn't care if you saw a penis in the woman's locker room? I don't. Well, personally, I don't really pay attention to other people in locker rooms. I feel like that's kind of weird to be observing other people. If you walked to a locker room and you walked in there and you saw a man walking around naked in a woman's locker room, how would that make you feel? You don't have, you don't have to be paying attention to it. You just see it. I mean, I'd probably think it was weird at first, but I wouldn't like, it wouldn't like ruin my life or anything. I that's, that's not the question, no. I'm just trying to describe the implications of this mind state that you have. If you allow pretty much anyone to be what they feel that they are, these type of consequences that can come from it. I'll tell you like this, in California, they just passed a bill that allows biological men to be housed in women's prisons without having any gender or affirm affirmation procedures, hormones, any of that. How does that make you feel? I don't know. Are these people who identify as trans women? How would you know if someone actually identifies with what they're saying that they're all? Well, I don't know, but I do know that there are a lot of people, like, obviously, there are, you can say that about anything. Like, there are Give people- Give me an example. There are people in the world who are genuinely transgender. And there are people who struggle with that a lot. But does them being transgender make them a woman? Yes. They're the same as you? Yes. How so? Just because they, like, they, they feel that way? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What did I just watch? What did I just watch? I just watched a whole bunch of nonsense, fam. All right, let me look. Trans women are not women. They are not. They are not biological women. They are not women. They would never be women. They are exactly what God created them to be. So they are. They was born as a man, and they trying to transform into a woman. Guess what? They are not a woman. I'm sorry to break the news to you, but I don't care about society. I don't care about hurting their feelings because the truth hurts sometimes. Okay, the truth hurts. I just read a scripture in my last video. I'm gonna read it again. Okay, because this is what this is what the Bible tells us about what's to come in society. Okay, for a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teaching. They will follow their own desires. And will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears want to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myths. These people don't want to hear truth, bro. The truth hurts sometimes. And look, I'm sorry to break the news to you, but you are you, you, trans women would never be women. They are literally biological male. I don't care. Kick me off a plat. Don't kick me off a platform, please don't. Okay, I need this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, but no, seriously, they 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 are honestly biological men. There is no, there is no, like, that's not a hard question. I don't have to think about that. I don't have to go into a whole history project about that, a whole paper about that. It's simple. They are not biologically women. Without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. It's been your boy, the pan. I love each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace. Ha! <sighs>